During his trip to North Carolina, the president encouraged his supporters to test the system, he says, for voting by mail in a way that could be, could be illegal. Mail-in voting starts tomorrow in that state, making it the first in the nation to collect ballots for the November election. Ben Tracy reports on the president's new message. I would go and follow it and go vote. At an airport rally in North Carolina Wednesday, President Trump told his supporters that if they vote by mail, they should also then go vote in person. And then if they tabulated very late, which they shouldn't be doing, they'll see you voted and so it won't count. So send it in early and then go and vote. And if it's not tabulated, you vote and the vote is going to count. You can't let them take your vote away. In some states, you can ask for your mail-in ballot to be invalidated, but intentionally voting twice is fraud and a felony in most states and could lead to chaos at precincts on Election Day. The president's message in the critical swing state of North Carolina was no accident. It starts sending out ballots tomorrow to voters who request them. President Trump has been attacking mail-in voting for months. I don't like this mail-in ballot deal. Despite voting that way himself several times. This is playing with fire. This is playing with fire. And now Attorney General Bill Barr is following the president's lead, sowing doubt over mail-in voting, just as many voters are worried about voting in person due to the pandemic. But elections that have been held with mail have found substantial fraud and coercion. Barr made the unfounded claim Wednesday that mail-in voting leads to widespread fraud, despite the fact that five U.S. states have used mail-in ballots exclusively for years with few problems, and millions of Americans vote by mail with absentee ballots each year. President Trump is now directing the attorney general to draw up a list of what he calls anarchist jurisdictions. Last night, the White House released a memo in which President Trump directs his federal agencies to begin the process of defunding several U.S. cities that he thinks have allowed lawless protests, including New York, Seattle, Portland, and Washington, D.C. These are all cities run by Democrats. Now, the president is trying to basically cut off any federal funding for those states that would be under his control. Gail. Ben, thank you.